And finally, at this moment, exactly half a century ago, the first ever News at 10 was coming to an end. Innovative from day one, Britain's first half-hour daily news programme had two presenters. And it had been warm that Monday in July 1967. The newscasters, Alistair Burnett and Andrew Gardner, were surrounded by ice trays and electric fans to try to stay cool in their rooftop studio. Quite a lot has changed since. Studio Aircon for a start. And Tom joined too, of course, the latest in a long line of presenters. I'm proud to have been part of the News at 10 family for the past nine years and have been reminiscing with someone synonymous with News at 10 for well over half the programme's life. It was the clarion call to a new way of doing news. 50 years ago tonight, and it still puts the hairs up on the back of your neck. For the man who took its famous anchor's chair in the early 90s, a lifetime of memories. News at 10, first of all, it was a half-hour programme, unheard of then, but very common now. And the Reports were authored, they were more accessible. When you saw people reporting for News at 10, you'd probably seen them in the field. And so there was a degree of believability about what they did. And it was not surprising that News at 10 caught on. It broke the mold. Oil is now leaking from the Liberian tanker Panther, which is stuck... And of course the anchors became very famous. I mean, Reggie Bosenke, Andrew Gardner, the great, great Alistair Burnett and, and, and people like that. And, you know, they became household names. The newsroom was very intense. It was very competitive. The competition to get on News at 10 um, was something which I remember to this day. Everybody was vying to be the first to do this. But when you were told that you'd be anchoring the programme... I had never seen myself in that position. I never... I never aspired to, to anchor News at 10. So to sit there and to be part of it, absolute terror. Um, and I was so relieved when it all ended on that first <laughs> night and people thought it had not been a total disaster. Talk me through, I mean, there are so many moments we could highlight that you were involved with, Trevor. Two key big moments in your journalistic career, the interview with Nelson Mandela after he was released, <clears throat> and also the interview with Saddam Hussein. I think the, the Saddam Hussein people did the interview with us because they knew about News at 10, and, and that was the, the fame of, 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 of News at 10. How are you? I couldn't get Mandela to focus on any of the great, great difficulties which he would encounter on getting South Africa on the road to democracy. He just refused to believe it. And he said something which I thought is important and is important today. He said, if you are prepared to compromise. We are ready for honorable compromises. All things are possible. That's a great political lesson for today. When you look at what some of our top correspondents have delivered over the years, that searing eyewitness account which has held people to account. It was for me and, you know, there are so many of those. We were not prepared for what we saw and heard there. Penny Marshalls in, 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 in Bosnia. I remember Michael Nicholson. Um, and I remember this because live a thousand years, I would never have done that. The, the Turks were invading Cyprus and they were coming out of the sky. Four minutes past six and the first of the Turkish troops have landed in Cyprus. About five of these Michael Nicholson walked into the field and he said to the Turks, the invading Turks, How are you doing? Hi, hello. 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 I'm Michael Nicholson from News at 10. Welcome to Cyprus. <laughs> that is quintessentially what the News at 10 brand was all about. The eyewitness reports, the fact that people were there on the spot. I think News at 10 will always have a place in television history. It did break the mold. It was the first half-hour news. I think its place in history is assured.